And because we're dealing with such, um, you know, uh, upstate New York kind of um, cliches here, I'm going to do something I never do, which is do the great palm transition. So here we go. Ready? <laughs> And welcome back to Janky AF. Well, we have a fantastic one here for you today. This is our winter is awful in upstate New York for classic car ownership series. And boy, today is just, a, we don't even have snow on the ground yet. And already we're dealing with lots of janky things. We have a 1985, beautiful 1985 uh, Chevrolet El Camino SS with a bed liner spray coat that is uh, sunk nice and deep into uh, the driveway here up at Janky Land. We recently had some electrical work done. We had to dig a huge trench out. That was a whole giant rigmarole. And because the ground is still soft, ironically, if it had been, you know, if the ground had been colder, it actually probably wouldn't have been a problem. But um, these nice uh, American racing wheels have embedded themselves nice and uh, deep into the janky ground. So we have to pull it out. Um, we are here at Janky AF, we do things janky, and we're of limited resources and means. So we have my lovely assistant, Kenneth, there, uh, getting a come-along, which is a whole other story of just getting that come-along into our possession. Apparently, no one in the greater uh, upstate New York area sells a come-along anymore. But uh, that's actually going to be a whole other video on how uh, I beat the system and supply chain issues just by having uh, good friends. So here's our 2002 Jetta. We will move that out of the way. And then below, we behold the fleet. Um, we have <laughs> Kenneth's great Subaru. We have my Aerostar, my 93 Aerostar, my great Fiat X19, and my 2015 Toyota Prius V. Now, if you've watched any of my videos, you know I'm constantly bragging about the Ford Aerostar and how great it is. The Ford Aerostar is the greatest car of all time. And one of the reasons it's so great is that just for being like, you know, a family minivan, this thing is factory rated at 4,800 pounds of towing capacity. So we're going to, uh, you know, somehow hook, and actually it doesn't even have a tow hitch on it, which is great supplied by the previous owner. So we're gonna move this here Jetta, okay? We're gonna try to find a spot to hook up to the El Camino, and we're gonna either one of two things. I got this come along, so I'm hoping I can just use the Aerostar as ballast to not actually have to put pressure on it. I don't wanna like, you know, these cars are getting older. I don't wanna put any stress on the transmission or anything like that. And maybe even just come along the El Camino out, put it in reverse and sort of, you know, ratchet it back. If not, we'll actually hook it up to the Aerostar and try to pull it out more properly. It's gonna be a janky operation. It's uh, pretty cold here today, but I thought I would give you a look at everything that's going on. So, first things first, we'll move the Jetta. All right, Volkswagen's gone. My uh, wonderful assistant is uh, moving the Aerostar. What a treat for him, right? Get to drive an Aerostar. So here's what we have under here, okay? We don't have a lot of clearance, as you can see. If you can see that muffler down yonder is uh, pretty close. We're gonna try not to damage anything as we come back here, gas tank. And we have, you know, it looks to be a pretty solid, uh, you know, rear frame component that we're gonna try to use um, to lurch it out of there. What was that? It sounded really loud. Just the arrow start starting up? Yeah, well, it does have an exhaust leak itself. Um, so, as you can see, we have, again, hopefully, something decently structural and frame related. We gotta be super gentle. So let's try to start this old uh, bird up now. This, I do have a tenant in the downstairs of Janky Town, a great dude, a uh, videographer and uh, talent in his own right. And he bought this wonderful uh, Chevrolet El Camino, which we're going to try to uh, review here on Janky AF. One day, there go my sunglasses. One, 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 one. One day, there go my sunglasses. I don't know if these are separate keys for what. I can't seem to open this door. How oh, this goes. Oh, look at that. Beauty coming up the road. Oh. It's nice to see the arrow starting. <laughs> Just so nice to see the arrow starting in motion, see it uh, rolling down the street. 
Okay, we got tires. Look at this. I mean, we got tires. We got tarps that are not holding in place. We got all this mud everywhere. Just wonderful, you know, upstate New York weather. Uh, I'm gonna have to put the camera down for a second here, try to figure out how to get this door open. So stay with us. The Ford Aerostar is the greatest car of all time. Okay, gotten the door open. As the Aerostar rumbles in the background. Beautiful, you know, red, sort of violet velour interior with these wonderful aftermarket cup holders. Really a pretty nice ride. You know, fairly large crack in the windshield, but that's no big deal. Have our great garbage bag, floor mats, and uh, here we go. Now, of course, which key is the car key? You know, back in the day when you had a separate key for the ignition and the locks and all that, Gas. Let the uh, voltage come up there a little bit. Now we're getting a bunch of clicking, which is great. Definitely got nothing there. So park, reverse, neutral. Yep. It's funny. Wait. You're going the other way. You're going the wrong way. It goes this way and you had to push that down Well, perhaps you saw that uh, very lame attempt at trying to pull it out. Actually, the Aerostar, I think, had plenty of power to do it, but uh, it looks like our rear tires are slipping on this muddy driveway. And then, you know, we just tried that very briefly, and then I look up in here, and I don't know if you can see this. Looks like the braiding of this metal wire is already starting to shear away at this little piece of metal here. So that ain't good. So uh, I don't know what we're gonna do. You know, I do have like a, a vinyl strap or a you know composite strap that might be a little more delicate than this really thin piece of wire that's gonna tend to cut, you know, like a slice of cheese. Pain in the tuchus, I tell you. Slice of cheese. All right, so update. We got a uh, a new um, recovery strap, and instead of you know one location, we have it now on two locations. So I don't think that's gonna mess with any of these O2 sensors or anything like that. You probably can't see anything under there. That's all right. Um, we do have, you know, a little bit of a concern with how low this muffler's running. Now it may have already, boy, it's really, I don't know if you can see that down there, but um, there is like no clearance We're right up against the mud. And obviously I don't want to Oh, tear anything or rip any muffler pieces off the vehicle. You know, like a slice of cheese. Because that would not be good. So I guess we'll give it one more shot here. See what happens. And, um, you know, then a slice of cheese. That'll be that. As you can see, the Aerostar definitely has the muscle, but it just doesn't have the traction. You know, this is the rear wheel drive Aerostar, not the all wheel drive. And because this thing is such a pain to kind of get unlurched from the mud, it seems like we're just not going to quite be able to do it today. Look at that. I mean, it's the type of mud where, you know, you can't walk around without getting a second set of platform shoes under your main shoes. And boy, you know, just look at this mess. All to try to get this El Camino into winter storage. 
up in the barn up there. And again, I'm sure there's an easier way to do this, you know. But uh, this is what happens when you do things janky and just sort of what you got to put up with. And that's the world that I live in. So maybe there'll be a, an update <laughs> to this video if we do get it out. Um, but uh, just another way, you know, we don't have our fancy concrete floor heated storage here out here when you're just sort of making do with what you got. You got to try to think outside the box and you got to, you know, work with what you got. So winter is awful uh, in upstate New York for classic cars. What else can we say? Slice of cheese. mud December mud it sucks walking around in a big pool of cow pies slice it slice it slice it slice it slice it cheese